Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you early effect that is also known as base width modulation. Here, first I am going to explain you the meaning of early effect. See, early effect is the variation in width of base in BJT. So, here we will be changing width of base in BJT. How? With the variation in applied base to collector voltage. So, by changing base to collector voltage, we will be changing width of base. That is early effect and it is also referred as base width modulation means we will be modulating width of base. How? By changing applied bias voltage at collector base junction. VCB that is collector base junction voltage that we will be changing to have change in width of base. For this, I will be going to consider one practical example in which I will be keeping PNP transistor in forward active region. So, to keep transistor in forward active region, you should know emitter base junction that should be there in forward bias and collector base junction that should be there in reverse bias. Based on that, I will explain you how early effect is happening. So, here you can observe we are having PNP transistor and we want to keep this in forward active region, right. So, this is emitter base junction. So, let us keep this junction, this junction in forward bias, right. So, we will be keeping this junction in forward bias and this is emitter base junction, right. This is emitter base junction and see this is collector base junction and this collector base junction that we will be keeping in reverse bias right this is collector base junction right this is collector base junction and with this biasing you can have this pnp bjt in forward active region now because of this pnp bjt which is there in forward active region what will happen you see at emitter base junction Depletion region width that is less. By this black color you can observe. Light black color is there. And this is depletion region. So width of depletion region is lower over here. At emitter base junction. As it is there in forward bias. But collector base junction is there in reverse bias. So depletion region width. That is more over here as it is there in reverse bias. Right. Let us consider this collector base junction voltage VCB. That is VCB1. And because of this. Let us say here we are having width of base that is W, right. This width of base that is W at this VCB1 voltage. Now what I will do is I will be going to increase this collector base voltage. So here now let us consider a scenario in which we will be increasing this collector base voltage. So now let us say we are applying VCB2 voltage which is greater compared to VCB1. So, if you provide higher reverse bias voltage at this collector base junction, then what will happen? Depletion region width will increase. You see, depletion region width is more over here as VCB2 is higher than this compared to this depletion region width is increasing. As depletion region width is increasing, you see what is happening? This width. Now, let us say this width is W dash. So, this base region width base width that is decreasing you see previously it was w now it is less it is w dash why the reason is collector base voltage that we are increasing so as you increase this collector base reverse bias voltage base width that is decreasing over here so here you can say w dash now that is getting lower compared to compared to w why the reason is we are increasing this collector base voltage right that's why now, let us try to understand few more basics related early effect that generally we use transistor in forward active region only. Almost 90 percentage of applications that is there with forward active mode of transistor, right. So, to have forward active region of BJT, emitter base junction that will stay in forward bias and collector base junction that will stay in reverse bias. And that is what the example which we have considered you see this is emitter base junction that is there in forward bias this is collector base junction that is there in reverse bias right 
So here what will happen you see. If collector base voltage that is increasing in reverse bias, it will increase width of depletion region which will result into decrease in width of base. So that is what the case which I have already explained you. If you increase this collector base voltage, then depletion region width that will increase compared to this. Because of that width of base, you see that is getting decreased. Right, that is what we have discussed. If width of base is decreasing, then recombination at base also get decreased, which results into lower value of base current. See, as you increase that reverse bias voltage depletion region is increasing. Because of that, what will happen? Width of base is decreasing. As width of base is decreasing, recombination will decrease. And as recombination decreases, base current will decrease. Let me show you how. See, this is PNP transistor. This is this is PNP transistor, right? So in this PNP transistor, uh, current will flow due to majority carrier that is holes. So here holes injection will happen. Here holes injection will happen. So let us say here IPE that is current due to holes in emitter. Now this current when it when it comes to base at that time there will be somewhat current which will be having recombination. So, because of recombination, IB current will flow over here and other, another current that will go inside collector that will be IPC. So, IPC means current due to holes in collector. Holes means P and C means collector. Right. So, here this IB current that is a difference of IPE and IPC. And see this difference that is happening because of recombination over here. So, as recombination is happening at base, base current is flowing. Now, if you observe, here width of base is decreasing compared to this. So, obviously, recombination will decrease and as recombination decreases, base current IB that will decrease. So, it is but obvious as if this IB current is decreasing, then this collector and emitter current will increase. Now, you need to understand how it will increase based on formula even that even I'm going to explain you but first of all analogy should be clear to you like how it is happening right. So here holes are flowing right in PNP transistor. So as recombination is happening over here IB current flows. So IB is difference of IP and IPC right. So you can say base current that is getting decreased and based on that you will be having higher current at IE and IC. Now I am going to explain you how you are having higher current at emitter and at collector. So for that you need to go through my one video based on uh, drift and diffusion current. Here see diffusion current that we are delivered to discuss about. I have told you see here current is happening due to diffusion. So what is diffusion current? See diffusion current that is area into charge into diffusion coefficient into carrier gradient. So here we are having current due to holes. So rho P by rho X that is what carrier gradient. Right. So diffusion current that definition that you need to understand first. For that I have made separate video. Here I am not going to explain that definition. Just consider current due to diffusion current is IP is equals to area into charge into diffusion coefficient into rho P by rho X that is carrier gradient. Right. So you can say this is what slope of carrier with respect to distance. This is what slope of carrier with respect to distance. Now IP that is happening at this gradient when X is equals to 0. Now how it is there you see. If you consider, if you consider this is the direction, if you consider, uh, if you consider this is the direction which is X. Right. So here, here we are saying X is equals to 0. And here we are saying x is equals to w, right? And you see this is what carrier gradient, rho p by rho x. This is what rho p of x by rho x. Right now I have considered this linear, right? So here if you observe, see as you increase reverse bias voltage, what will happen? As you increase reverse bias voltage, this slope will be sharp. Right, means value of rho p by rho x that will increase. Right, value of rho p by rho x that will increase. 
at x is equals to 0, at x is equals to 0, here you will be having i p e and at x is equals to w, here you will be having i p c, right. But as you increase v c b, you see this slope is increasing, as if this slope is increasing, but obviously i p e and i p c both will increase. Why the reason is IPE and IPC both are depending on rho P by rho X, right? So here rho P by rho X means slope that will increase as you increase this reverse bias voltage, right? So if you observe IPE and IPC, right? So IPE that is this at X is equals to 0 and IPC that is this at X is equals to W, both will increase. As IPC and IPE both are increasing, you can directly say emitter current and collector current both will increase, right? And as if emitter and collector current both are increasing over here, then you will be having increase in large signal current gain alpha. This is also I have derived in my earlier video of this lecture series of electronic devices. IC that is collector current that should be equals to alpha into IE. I have derived this right alpha into IE plus ICO. So this current value of IC and IE both are increasing over here as per this explanation. But practically as IC is increasing, you can say value of alpha that will also increase. Now you might be thinking like as if IC and IE both are increasing then how alpha value that will increase. See alpha value that will be that will be going close to 1, right? It will be always lower than 1. So, as if you increase value of IC and IE, then alpha value that will increase, it will go nearer to 1 and you can say based on that large signal current gain alpha that is increasing. So, in total what is happening is as you increase this voltage in reverse bias at collector base junction, this slope is getting sharp based on that you can say value of collector current and emitter current both are increasing and value of base current that is decreasing which is resulting into which is resulting into higher value of alpha which is also resulting into higher value of beta you should know my dear students value of beta value of beta that is ic by ib so here what we are doing is we are increasing ic and we are decreasing ib what it means we are increasing this value of beta, right? So that, that, that should be also clear to you. Sometimes questions will come in competitive examination at that time, you should be clear about it. I hope it is clear to you still. If anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.